Hey everyone, Tyler Bristow here with CenterlineMapping.com. In this video, we're going to show how to collect data using the StoneX S700A GNSS receiver that I've got right here. This is the S700A GNSS receiver. It's dual frequency, 700 channels, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, full constellation, RTK enabled, GNSS receiver. It's designed to endure a two meter hole drop. I dropped mine one time. You can see it's got a little bit of a ding right there, but other than that, it's, it's a solid GNSS receiver. I've been using it with local VRS and getting under half a centimeter accuracy. And I'm gonna show you right now how I use it to collect GPS data and then make maps and collect the positions of our paint marks. So I'm going to show you how to use it with Cube A software. I'm going to turn the camera around. I'm going to open up Cube A and show you how we do this. Uh, paint marks have already been put on the ground. We are going to map telecom. There's an electrical, water, and sewer line. So that's all we're going to be mapping here. I'll give a quick, quick, uh, visualization of the job and then we'll show you how we set everything up. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Cubase software. I'm going to update later. So we need to turn on the S700A. Just push and hold that button and when that thing turns on, Cubase is going to pair with it via Bluetooth and it's going to connect to a local VRS network that I've already punched into this Cubase software. And we're going to get an initialization and fixed position. So as soon as this software in my hand on the Android device connects to that, we'll see it and we'll get started. So you can tap on device in the bottom left and go to communication. This is where I'm going to pair with the S700A. I'm going to click connect. As you can see, it's going through all the processing. It's connecting to my device. It's connecting to VRS. Everything is done and it's going to try and get a fixed position. So in the top left, you can see it's trying to get a fixed position. I'm probably going to lift this up a little bit. So I'm lifting it up putting it up on the pole. I'll probably put it at about seven feet. Okay, I've got a fixed position. I put it higher up in the sky. Okay, now what I'm ready to do is go to project, project manager, and I'm going to create a new project and I'm just going to call it F L for food line. And I'm going to apply my coordinate system, so NAD83 Virginia South. I'm just going to tap Create. And now I've got a project set up. I'm connected to my receiver, and here's the job. So it's just behind a grocery store. There's some utilities back here. We're going to start mapping them. I'm going to turn this camera off as we do this or you'll just be seeing a bunch of stuff. So here we go. Okay, so when we want to start mapping in Cubay, down at the bottom, we're going to tap the survey button and then we're going to choose point survey. Okay, you can also turn on aerial imagery. So tap this button until you see aerial imagery. Now you can zoom in and it's going to show your position on the map. So this is where we are. I've got feature codes down here in the bottom that I've created so that I can map gas, water, telecom, sewer, electrical, building points, fence post, edge of concrete, control points. I can tap those buttons to collect those positions. I can turn those off. I can also choose to map points, lines, polygons, and circles. So I typically do points, but you can do lines as well, and it will all show on this map. If you want to move the map, away from your position just tap these shoes and now I can pan the map okay if I turn those shoes back on it'll put the center of the map where your GPS is so that's just how you can turn it off 
so that it doesn't keep keep your position in the center. See how it keeps putting that point in the center? If you unselect the shoes, you can pan around. So now that we know a little bit about what we've got going on in the software, we're connected to the GPS receiver. We know that we're going to map a line. We're going to map a water line. We're going to map a sewer line. We're going to map a telecom line along with some electrical lines. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm at the first point. What I'm going to do is I've chosen to map a line. And next thing I'm going to do in my feature codes is I'm going to tap electrical line. And that's going to record the first vertex of this line. Now we're just going to map out the points along this line. And as you can see, it's drawing it out. So when I get to the next point, I'm just going to tap record. And it collects the second point. Okay, so I'm at this electrical meter. I'm gonna tap record, and I'm gonna tap this little button down here with the check, and that's gonna end my polyline. Do you wanna close the polyline? No. Okay, so now I've got these five points. I've got my electrical line. What you can do is tap this arrow in the top left. You can go to your project and your point library and these are all my points. It stores the northing, the easting, the elevation, along with the latitude and the longitude, along with the ellipsoid height. And there's my code. EL stands for electrical, so that's what I can use in GIS software to symbolize this data. So I'm going to go back to the map by tapping survey, point survey, and now we can map out the, the sewer line. So I'm just going to stand on the sewer point, which is right over here, and I'm going to collect the first point and make sure you choose sewer line feature code. So I'm going to tap sewer line. Delay more than 5.0. Okay. Now I'm just walking out this sewer line. sewer lid right here and I'm going to tap record I'm just walking out this sewer line two more meters and we'll be done with sewer As you can see in the top it's showing I've got a fixed position so I'm just going to tap record one more time and then to end this polyline I'm going to click the checkbox and do you want to close the polyline no okay now I'm going to map the water line So I'm going to choose water line and I've recorded the first position and this water line is pretty straight so I'm just going to walk it out. We'll map, we'll map a straight line and then there's some water meters. I'll show you how we can collect those water meters. You can zoom in on the map and I'm at this last meter. I'm going to click record. Okay, then this water line kind of comes around here and I'm just mapping out these paint marks.
as you can see we're still getting a fixed position 0 0.063 horizontal that's in feet okay almost done with water okay so now we've got electrical and water and sewer mapped out. There's a telecom line. I want to map that one. I'm going to come back over here. And we're going to map this telecom line out from this box. Comes down right, right along this pole. So I'm going to tap telecom line and make sure you've got your line point selected as well so choose telecom line and let's just walk this telecom line out tap record and if the line goes straight you can just map it a couple times along the line and if it's not straight then map it at each time it bends Okay, I'm at the pedestal. As you can see in the imagery, there's a pedestal right about here. So I'm going to tap record and then I'm going to map it to the building. Okay, map it to the building. Okay, so we have finished up mapping everything out here. Next thing we're gonna do is take this data and export it out of Cubay, and then we're gonna import it into QGIS. So what we can do is in the top left, tap that arrow, tap project in the bottom left, and then we can export data. So I'm gonna tap export data, and you can choose the file type. I like to export shape files, so I'm just gonna choose points and CAD entities to shapefile. You can export DXF, CSV, DXF, Google Earth, KML. So I like to do shapefile, tap that, tap the share after exporting, and then tap export. And what you want to do is right here, reference system of output files, you want to choose WGS84, and now you can tap export. Okay, now I'm going to share it via email, and I'm just going to email this file to myself. Just tap send, and now I've got that file waiting for me back at my laptop. And that's how you collect data using the S700A by StoneX with Cubase software. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the office where we create a simple map uh, using, this, using this data.